load, this is the load, right? This is the resistance, load resistance. So across this, you will get an output like this, pulsating DC. And once you add a capacitor, in parallel capacitor, positive will be here, negative will be here. If it is the electrolytic capacitor. Then we will get a steady output. And that is how it will work. Absolutely. So that is how this capacitor is in parallel. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Just place this capacitor like this with the resistor. Anything else? Yes, sir. Okay, then we will start working for now. So first, I will make it like this and I will allow everybody to see. Right? Uh, there is a way. I'll show you. Right. Got it? Okay. So first of all, I would like to show you the input signal. How the input looks like. This and do you see what we need to make this circuit? What? Okay, we need capacitor, diode, resistance. I'm telling you, this next exam will be practical. Including Viva. First term exam was considered to be only with the Viva. But mid term, final exam will be all about project. The project will be like this. Uh, we'll ask question from the project. And uh, like that that's the exam. So that is why I'm I'm telling you all. Uh, I have planned uh, listen, my plan is just to give you a Two diodes. Listen to me for experiment. We need two diodes. And I'm telling you, you come and practice here before the exam. A capacitor. So two diodes, we have two diodes. This. Capacitor, transformer output. What is transformer? There will be a question. Okay. 909. This is a 9 volt transformer. This is the secondary. The secondary has got three wires. So nine, zero, nine. Have you got it? Yes, sir. Okay. And then, um, resistance. Then we need a resistor. So this is the resistor. Right. And uh, what else? Capacitor, diode, resistor. Nothing else. And and transformer is there. And wires. And oscilloscope is there. Okay. The first of all, load any load. This is the register. That's the load register. Okay. So first, let let me show you the input signal from the transformer. So transformer has got three terminal, right? Three different terminal. So I've given this. Okay. I've connected these three terminals. Here and I would like to see the input signal first. So the, the oscilloscope is gonna show you once I connect it. This is the ground, right? Zero volt. Nine zero nine. So that's the ground. So ground is to be connected here with the bypassing lead. And, zero, nine, and nine, nine, the output with the nine volt. Can you see the AC input here? Yes. Huh? Alternating current yes. input. Okay, I'm showing you everybody. Do you see that? Yes, huh? Alternating current input, do you see that? Yes. Huh? Is there any question regarding input? No. So we have got 0, 9, 0, 9, yes, huh? 0, minus 9, right? 0, 9, 0, minus 9. Let's see. 0, 9, 0, 9, 0, minus 9. 0, 9, 0, minus 9. Alternating current. Okay. So we will connect the ground with the bypass. Ground? Yeah, yeah. That's how uh, the oscilloscope is to be connected. I talked about this. Okay. Next to this, we'll make the circuit. Okay, look at the circuit. Circuit diagram is there, right? In the board or you may have in your uh, script. You see there are two diodes, right? Okay. Let us place that two diode in the, in the breadboard. So breadboard, this way they are connected, right? Yes. So I'm placing this diode here. And other diode. Other diode. Just side, side to this. I mean here. Is that okay? Both P of the diode are placed in this. Both P, the black portion, and both grey portion is there. Is there, right? Listen. Now, if you look at the diagram, you'd see that uh, the transformer secondary terminal one and terminal three. 
again terminal one and terminal three of the transform. This is the middle terminal. This is terminal one. This is terminal three. That's the middle, right? So one and three. These two terminals are connected to the two p, two p, p type of two type, yes. right? Not two n, two p. Okay. So make this uh, one. Make this one connected. On this P. is one terminal one, right? Yes. On P. With one P of the diode yes. here, and the third terminal is this. Second. And P. I'm connected to the second P. Is is that is that connected? Yes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the N. Remaining terminal is the N, right? Yes. Okay. So the remaining N terminal of both diode will be connected together. Do you see that that they are short? They are connected together. The both N. Do you see the do you see the both end yes, of the yes, yes. two diodes? Yes. They are connected together. They are connected in same row. Right. So let me connect them. This is one diode and another diode in will be connected. Same terminal. The same line. Is that okay? Yes. Row or same column, column. Sorry, same column. Do you see they are connected in the same column? Yes. Huh? Yes. Any question? No, no, okay. Now that the point where both in are connected, a resistor starts from the terminal, right? Mm -hmm. huh? You see that the where both in are connected, the resistor will start, right? <coughs> we'll first conduct cooler vibration, <coughs> then we'll we'll go for capacity. Yeah, I mean filtering. Do you see that? Yes. So mm -hmm. the, the terminal where both in are connected, the resistor will start from that terminal, right? So we can start the resistor from the same terminal where both ends are connected, right? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. And the other end of the resistor, which is this, right? Which is connected to the middle terminal, the ground, which is this, right? Yes. Hmm? Yes, sir. So we are connecting this middle terminal or ground to the other end. Is that okay? Yes. yes sir. Now across the resistor between these two terminals of the resistor will get the output so if i am telling you in the exam that uh, okay where from we are taking output i will give you this oscilloscope prop to show me from where you are get, taking the output then you have to show like this this is the bypass right this would be connected to the ground. ground so ground is this ground connected to this right this is the ground look at the ground where the ground is connected here, here. So connect it in this this terminal because it is connected to the ground. And it will work. And the other terminal will be connected to the other end. Okay, of the resistor. So now let's see the rectified output. Do you see that? Okay, I'm I'm showing you. You have seen it? Everybody seen that the full rectification is there, no negative up cycle? Yes sir. I'm showing you the input as well. Yeah. See the input. Do you see the input? Now? Oh. Input and output. Okay? <coughs> Have you seen it? Okay, no, no, I will show. Sure. Now for you people, this is the output yes. of the rectifier output. There is only positive up cycle. And once we uh, once we see that the frequency is hundred hertz. Here for now, it's showing hundred hertz in this in this screen. Frequency is um, somewhere uh, somewhere it will be shown okay anyway the frequency is double no 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 there is no negative okay okay let me show you let me show you and then this is the input do you see the input for now alternating yes, current huh? yes, sir. Is, yes, it, sir. is it okay and now let's see the output <coughs> Is that okay? Yes. Huh? Sorry? Why? Eight. Eight at zero. This is the zero. Zero. Yeah. Only the positive portion. Yeah. And, and once, I, once I'm connecting it to the input, let's see. Okay? Is that okay? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Now, these people, yeah. Look at this is the rectified output. We have taken across the